<laughs> yes, as you can see, I am on console. These are the console settings, and if I come off, I have the bubble wrap build. There is actually three short parts for unlocking performance mode on console. Part one being turning normal builds like this into bubble wrap builds just like this, making your game run faster so you get an unfair advantage. To turn on console performance mode, you must do these three parts in order. Getting bubble wrap build, increasing performance in game, and finally turning on performance mode for console. This last step doesn't work if these two aren't completed first. Alright, let's head into create for the tutorial. Part one. To unlock the performance mode, we need to change the visuals of our builds to the bubble wrap build. What we're gonna do is come straight into your settings and hit A, and I'll come across until you find the video tab, and now locate where it says bright. Now, to be honest with you guys, it doesn't actually do anything to your game. It just makes your builds look like the bubble wrap build, but you have to do this, and it's a vital step on locking performance mode. Alright, so what we're gonna do is find the brightness tab, and you're gonna scroll it down until you get to around 85%. Now that you've got this, you should come down to user interface contrast. Now you're gonna go ahead and scroll this all the way up until you get to 1.35. Go ahead and get that. You'll notice a slight difference on screen, but remember, this doesn't actually give you performance mode. It just changes the appearance. 1.35. Now change your colorblind mode. You're gonna come ahead and go over to Protono. Come down to your colorblind strength. And now we want it to look most like the bubble wrap build, so you're gonna turn this all the way up to the maximum it can be at 10. Now remember, this doesn't give you performance mode, but as you can see on the build, it has the bubble wrap texture. Right now, moving on to part two. Now your game looks visually like performance mode. Let's actually make it perform better. Now we have to apply a few different settings in a specific order, or then the performance mode option to actually pop up and allow us to choose it. So come back over to your setting, and the first page you're gonna come straight down to advanced. Save zone is the first thing we need to do. Click on this, and it should actually bring you this screen. We need to make sure that our screen percentage is used properly, so therefore, go ahead and resize this and hit done when it's on the corner. Now, the second vital step is when I turn my character, as you can see, do you guys see that in the water? Yes, that is my frames lagging behind because of an annoying thing called motion blur. With performance mode, we don't want it looking fancy. We want fast, responsive action. So therefore, go ahead and turn off your motion blur and apply that. Sure, FPS, keep that on. But you can see the difference when it doubles your FPS at the end of the video. Alright, just walk into this board. And oh my god, we got 120. I remember that won't work unless you do this next vital step, which is coming onto your settings and going over to the second tab. And then go ahead and hold down your D-pad and go down to the bottom where you will find these things called replay. Now the performance mode setting actually requires us before we can activate it to turn off each of these replays. And then when you have that done, apply. And the performance mode option will only work if you have your HUD scale below this little green line here right there. I like to play on around 80%. Go ahead and apply that. And we're almost at the end of the second part. Just a few more settings before you can unlock the performance mode. So now you're going to go ahead and come back into your settings and go all the way over until you find the last tab. The next step we have to imply an order is auto decline friend request. This will automatically stop any friend requesting while you're using the performance mode. So we have to turn this on like that. And it also requires us to notify friends when playing. We go ahead and turn this off too and apply that. Same thing, show social notifications. Go ahead and turn that off. And that's all for part two. Now we have the bubble wrap build. Our game is performing much better and is ready for you guys to activate performance mode on console. Now I have to warn you guys, once you turn this on, you will never look back. And most likely you won't be able to play on normal settings because performance mode just feels so good on console. You can see it's already starting to work. As look at my builds when they pop up. My GPU is already being saved as it doesn't load in the texture for a few seconds. Remember though, this is not performance mode and we need to apply. But real quick, I do actually have to warn you guys. Now this whole video is for console, but I had to switch to PC to show you this. Now once I tell you how to apply this trick on console, different consoles may get the high or low meshes. High is normal, which everyone will get is bubble wrap builds. However, if you do get low, let me load into creative to show you, your game will look pretty down bad. As you see, you can get mobile builds. So after I show you how to get this on console, don't freak out if you get the mobile build. I'm just showing you this on PC because it's only literally like a 3% chance you'll get these. And I couldn't get it on the console. But don't worry, I will actually show you the tutorial on console. I just had to switch real quick so I could show you what these look like. Yeah, don't worry, most likely you get the bubble wrap build. It's just a very small percentage you can get mobile build. To do this at your own risk, I'll pop up a tweet on screen which actually shows someone who tweeted out about it. And that's actually how I found out about how you can get the mobile build. However, to the small 3% that do get the mobile build, there is actually some positive, being that you get way better FPS. Your input delay is literally none. And to be honest with you, it's quite rare, but honestly, I think it's actually better than the bubble wrap build. Like, look at me going zooming through all these builds right now. I literally have no delay whatsoever. But I mean your builds literally look like a potato. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can get some sort of performance mode on console, that's all you guys really want. And I personally think this is a must-have for any console player looking to improve their performance, as there's no real guides or tutorials out there how to get more FPS on console. Don't worry, I got you guys. And I think it's almost time to show you how you can set this up on console. I'm recording this part on my phone to show you it's real. So you're gonna hit the home button of your console. Now every console has this. It's called settings. Go ahead and press A on this. It's slightly different for every console, but you just want to find something called display. Come over to this and hit A. And now, whatever resolution you're playing on, go ahead and click that. And you're going to need to change it to 1080p. It might be different for PS4, but it is all the same. Now, this is what you guys have all been waiting for. How to unlock performance mode on any console. On Xbox, click on the refresh rate. Choose 120 hertz. On PS4, it's called boost mode. Drop a like, it helps out with the algorithm. And subscribe for more unique console help like this. Now, if you want to get macros on console, click the video on screen right now. Click it. Click it, guys.